let's say we have a tow fish with a magnetometer behind our boat. So I'm going to go to hardware all right, and uh, right click. I need to add another mobile. Make it to the name of this one, just name it tow fish. And the tracking point's going to be in the center of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and assign my devices to it. And first, I need a way to position that tow fish. And one way that we can do it is with the uh, simplified tow fish driver. I'm just going to look here at TO Simple, which is new for 2017, which I really like. Uh, tow fish, maybe. There's the one I want right there. And then what devices do I have on board the tow fish? I have the magnetometer, so I'm going to put magnet driver. We'll set up both of those. Uh, so this is going to be my EGNG2880. Uh, and uh, this is just the tow fish. All right, so I need a way to position the vessel. I'm going to use the tow fish driver. I'm just going to say it's a position driver. Under the setup, all right, I can have a fixed layback and, and fix it a certain distance behind my boat origin or a variable layback where I can either just manually enter the amount of uh, the distance that I want or I can use one of these cable counters. And you'd specify the connection for the cable counter uh, under the under the survey connect. Otherwise, if you're just manually inputting the distance, you don't have any connection for this. My EG and G is a serial connection. So we're going to say serial. Let's put it on COM6. Uh, 9,681, that's good. And you can run a COM port test for some of these things, and it'll show you what devices you have. So I have my Trimble on 4, my MRU on 5, and my magnetometer on 6. If I actually had any devices and they were turned on, I'd see the data streaming across here. And then the offsets. Well, the EG and G is located at the center of my tow fish, so really there is no offset to it. So that's how we'd set it up for a second mobile with a magnetometer on board.